Hey, good folks. This is the Ancestry Chronicler, Deshaun J. Gandy here with you. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe, also like it, and share it with someone. Give it that thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. And ring that little bell so you'll be notified on upcoming content. Well, today I have something special for you. I am going, I'm here with my, uh, my in-laws. Um, I call them mom and dad Anglin. And I'm here with them, and they are going to be taking the ans African Ancestry um, Patroclan test and Matroclan test. And uh, so we're going to film them uh, taking the tests, um, doing the swabs and all that good stuff. Uh, because eventually, we want to find out where in Africa their ancestral roots are with specificity. Looking for the tribe and knowing what present day country that's in. So, hey, this is gonna be a good one. Stay tuned, thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Dawn and I am Deshaun's wife, the Ancestry Chronicler. And today I'm excited because we'll be doing the African Ancestry test for my parents. So we're here with them today and they're going to um, just introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Anne Lugene Small Anglin, and I'm here to take the Matricaan test for African Ancestry. Hello, my name is Rupert Augustus Anglin Sr. And I'm here to take the Patrick, Patrick Clan test for our African ancestry. And this is it. Okay, mom, so how far were you able to trace your natural lineage? Oh, I was able to trace trace my um, uh, natural lineage, lineage from my mother, made mm -hmm. a blood small, mm -hmm. uh, and then her mother, who was Isadora Briggs Blunt. Okay. And then her, uh, my great-grandmother was Carolyn Lamons Briggs. Mm -hmm. And then her, my second great-grandmother, uh, it's Betsy Lamons. Okay. And she was born in 1840. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so... And she was born in Georgia, right, Mom? Right. Beautiful. Okay. That's awesome. So you're able to trace your your natural lineage back to your second great-grandmother, Betsy Lamons, who was born in 1840. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, Daddy, how far were you able to trace your patrilineage? Not very far. I like to go further than that. My great-grandfather's name was Charles Anglin. Mm hmm which was born in 1883. Now, is that your great-grandfather or is that your grandfather? It's my grandfather. Mm -hmm. However, my father, James Anglin, was born in 1904 and lived until it's 1983. Wow. Okay, so, and, and he was born, actually both of them into, were born where? Uh, into a little town called Trelawney. Mm -hmm. and then eventually moved to Clarendon, where I was born. Okay, and that's in Jamaica, and right? And that's in Jamaica, <laughs> West Indies. Awesome, awesome. So you were able to trace your patrilineage to your grandfather. Grandfather. Right, yes. Charles Anglin, and he was born in 1883. So yes. that's... That's awesome. So hopefully we'll get further. We're just gonna keep going until you know, um, you know, we get further in our lineage. So excellent. That's awesome. <laughs> so this is my cousin on my mom's side. So you can introduce yourself. Thanks, Lady Dawn. Um, hi, my name is Sarah Stiles, and I am Lugene's cousin, and I'm also a descendant of Betsy Lamons. Okay, so, all right, so 
How far? So, so you will, you also will be able to trace your pat, your natural lineage line, you know, through um, Betsy Lamons or Grandma Betsy, right? So, yes. um, if you can just tell us how um, you, um, how your lineage looks, and if you can just kind of take us back to how you connect with Betsy Lamons. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to say thanks, Lujean, for taking one. Uh, for the team. You represent, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, how we're connected, how I am connected to Betsy Lamons is from my father's side of the family. So, my father, who was William Stiles, was the son of, uh, his mother was Sally Briggs Stiles. And her mother was Caroline Lamons Briggs, actually Drayton. <laughs> and her mother was Betsy Lamons. Awesome. So just excited today because now we'll be able to find, we'll be able to get back to Africa yes. and trace our lineage. Oh, and it's just really exciting. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy, for taking the test. And through you, we'll be able to find yes. out, you know, where Betsy, Grandma Betsy's line um, takes us. Mm. Thank you, Lucien. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is, is what we're going to be doing. Um, and we're going to follow this all the way through from beginning to end. Uh, so we just showed them taking their tests. And what we did is that we made copy of our kit ID numbers because that is very important. That's going to be the, their personal information throughout this whole journey. Um, and then we're, also, and we're going to activate the kits before we actually mail it off. And um, that is to ensure you know, that there's no delay in the process. And uh, then we play the waiting game. Mm. And we're going to wait, and we're going to wait, mm. we're going to wait with bated breath, That's breath, and, and mm. so much anticipation right? Right. and excitement, and, and um, I'm, I'm believing that, that we're going to get back to Africa because 65% uh, of the Patrick Clan test results are African, uh, and I believe it's 92% of the Metro Clan test results are African. Uh, so there is a possibility that there may be European uh, ancestral roots um, but with these two branches that we selected uh, from the research that we've done, we're trusting that that will get us back to Africa. And when we know, you will know. Yes, you will. I'm the Ancestry Chronicler, the Sean J. Gandy, here with my wife Dawn and my mother-in-law, Mom uh, Anglin. And we thank you so much. Please, please, please subscribe. And like, if you like this kind of content and you enjoy it, uh, give me the thumbs up, you know, like it and, and, and share with somebody else, somebody else who you know appreciates and enjoys uh, this kind of, of, of information and content. Be sure to hit the, um, the bell. You hear chiming in the background? That bell is to let you know that further content is up and coming and you'll be kept up to date with all kind of content and also when the results come in. Like I said, when we know, you will know because we're not going to open up those test results and do the reveal unless we're doing it live with you. All right, thank you. Peace. See you next time.